again and welcome back to works teen may tells you about the day with shadow hunter news we're just we're seeing so much of each other lately <laughs> the way they're releasing the casting for this tv show it was cute at first it was like woo. now it's starting to feel like that time so much decided to release one song off the twilight soundtrack every few hours enough like all we're missing now is magnus so i'm gonna make a separate video for magnus Probably, I love Magnus, he's my favorite. Hello, I'm Christine from the future, five hours after I filmed this video, when the Magnus casting was announced. <laughs> Great timing. Great timing. <laughs> this past week, we've received Luke, Alec, and Valentine, and Magnus castings. <laughs> and we received a bunch of new covers for the Mortal Instruments books. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, this week we finally got our Alec Lightwood. I think we all know I'm not a huge fan of Alec Lightwood because he's kind of a jerk a lot of times. But despite that, he's still a main character and he's going to be played by, drumroll, Matthew Daddario. Now Matthew Daddario, I don't know if you know, he's the brother of Alexandra Daddario, who plays our Annabeth Chase in Hollywood's shitty version of the Percy Jackson film. I know. What? What? Did you know that? You probably did if you googled him. This Matthew Daddario, I cannot find his age online. It's like he's some huge mystery how old he is. He's ageless. He's a vampire. I don't know if he's her younger brother or her older brother. Alexandra Daddario though is 29 years old. So if he's older, he's probably like 31. If he's younger, he's probably like 26. Stupid internet not having any information. Look wise, I'm a lot happier with Matthew Daddario as Alec than I was with movie Alec. He was in stuff I've never heard of. Delivery Man. Yeah, he was in Delivery Man with Vince Vaughn. With appearance brown eyes, it's fine. Don't worry. That looks like a face Alec would make. Ugh, I'm unhappy with everything ever. Chase doesn't love me. Magnus is gonna live forever. My life is so horrible. Shut up. Overall, I'm fine with this choice. I think he looks the part. He's a little older looking. I'm really curious about how old he is. Stop it. Show me how old you are. The next casting we got was for Luke Garraway, our resident werewolf dad figure in the story. <laughs> this casting was a huge surprise to me. I was just not expecting the Old Spice guy. As soon as I got his name because I got an email with his name in it. I typed it into Google. Up pops the Old Spice guy. Old Spice. Oh, those commercials were great. They were those commercials that you'll remember forever. And he was the guy. I hope you've all seen the Old Spice commercials. And like, not the new ones. The first ones were the best. It was like, I'm on a horse. I'm on a horse and I'm in the ocean. And then it would just like switch. You know what I'm talking about, right? I don't even remember all the way. I just remember I loved it. And it was funny and it was awesome. He's playing Luke. Garraway. I'm sure he's gonna do a great job. What is his name? I'm just saying the Old Spice guy. That's his name. You know, I wouldn't mind being Old Spice guy. I mean, I would. I wouldn't be Old Spice girl. Old Spice girl. <laughs> Sounds like I'm just an Old Spice girl. But if you saw a commercial and I was Old Spice girl, you'd get it. Because I'd be Old Spice girl. Not Old Spice girls. Old Spice guy's name is Isaiah Mutasafa. Mufasa. <laughs> he was born in 1974. Was that hard? Was that so hard? Putting your birthday online. Damn it, Matthew Daddario. How many years have you been on Earth? Anyway, back to Isaiah Mutasafa. Mustafa. Mustafa. It looks like Mufasa. I wonder if you were always called Mufasa. Because if I were your friend, I'd call you Mufasa. And it would be fun. So, other than being Old Spice Guy, wow, he's got a lot of stuff on his repertoire here. He's been in Horrible Bosses. He was also in Ugly Betty one episode. He was in a couple episodes of Days of Our Lives. Dula. He was in an episode of Castle. He was in Charlie's Angels. Oh, the TV series. That sucks. <gasps> and, and I don't mean the old one. I mean like the new reboot. He was in two episodes in Akita. He's all over the place. Now he's on Luke Garway. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm fine with it. I haven't seen him act in much other than Old Spice Guy, but I'm sure he's gonna be good. The next casting we got was Valentine Morgenstern. I don't know if you know, Valentine Morgenstern is one of my favorite villains. I really, really like him. He scares me. He intrigues me. He's handsome. He's the father of two of our protagonists. It's crazy. Our relationship with him is really interesting. And movie version of Valentine just like ripped my heart out and like stuck it in a pot and made it into some angel shit and was eaten by one of Valentine's experiments. It went too far. 
Lily Valentine sucked. She was a weird pirate 29 year old who was the father of like a 28 year old Jamie Campbell Bauer. It was he just he looked so young. They just went a really weird way with him. Our new Valentine is Wait, what's his name again? Our new Valentine is Alan Van Sprang. And if you don't know him, he's the king in rain. The second I saw his picture, I was like, oh, ooh, I know him. King from rain. He has this like really strong meanness, regalness to him. He's like this handsome dude. He's good. He's 43. <laughs> Very exciting, guys. If a 43 year old had an 18 year old, eight minus three minus five, 35, he was 25 when he had kids. It's perfect, it's perfect. Oh, and he looks the part. Ooh, maybe this guy does have hair and he chooses to be bald. Yeah, no, he shaves his head. Here he is with hair. He's a handsome guy. And then here he is how he looks on Rain. Very distinguished. You don't wanna fuck with him. And I know, because I watched Rain, he's Fabulous actor. So that's really exciting. I'm happy. I'm very happy with this choosing. I wonder if he shaves his head because he thinks it makes him look like more of a badass. Because it does. So he was born in 1971. He's been on a TV series called King. Oh, he was on the Tudors as well. The other Valentine was on the Tudors too. Weird. He's been in something called A Taste of Shakespeare. To do Shakespeare, you have to be like a certain level of awesome. He's talented. He's a talented dude. I'm happy. I'm very happy with this casting. Oh, he's from Canada. Oh, Canada. His English accent is fake in the in rain. That's so funny. He does a good accent. Magnus was announced when I was in the car driving to improv practice. I was in the car like <laughs> freaking out because guess who's playing Magnus? Guess, 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 guess. Mr. Harry Shum Jr. from Glee. Dancer extraordinaire, smooth, awesome, awesome. Magnus is gonna be Harry Shum Jr. <laughs> I'm so excited! I'm like, I don't know why I'm as excited as I am. I've only seen Harry act in Glee, but and like, I just have all the faith in him. I just think he'd be really great. And he must be, because or else he wouldn't have won the audition. I don't know why I just said won it. Like, he won the part. But it kind of is like you won it. He outdid the other humans. Who wanted the part? He won! He's awesome! And now Magnus can dance on top of all his other glorious activities that he can do. Oh my god. Could you imagine the Malik wedding? Their first dance could be with an awesome hip-hop pop and lap routine! <laughs> I wanna dance with Magnus. Let's check out his IMDb. Harry Shim Jr. Oh my god, he's 33. I had no idea. He looks like he could be my age. I thought he was my age. I thought he was 24. He was born in 1982. He is ageless. And yet another reason why he will make the perfect Magnus Bane. I can't believe he's 33. I can't believe this. He was in Stomp the Yard, Dancer. He was in Zoe 101 for like one episode. I used to watch that show. But it was a little after my time, so I didn't watch it hardcore. I used to watch hardcore, Caitlyn's Way, and Tyena. Did you guys just watch Tyena? I was like, I thought that was the coolest ever. He was in Step Up to the Streets. He was on Greek. Oh. I used to watch Greek. He was in Step Up 3D. Oh, this is so cool. I was so excited for him doing Magnus. And then he was in Glee. That's Mike Chang. I just love to read the Magnus Bane Chronicles. The Bane Chronicles. I read three different stories, but I have the big book over there. Accio book. I still have to read the Bane Chronicles. I'm going to read them. I haven't read the Simon Chronicles. I feel so out of the loop because I haven't read them. I want to wait for them to come out in a bind up. So Harry Shum is my favorite casting of these four people. I'm just excited. I hope you are too. I hope we get to see Magnus dance. I hope there's like a dance off. <laughs> dance off Alec v. Magnus. Dance off Magnus v. Jace. At whose party that'd be bomb. I hope Magnus has his party just so we can have a scene with him dancing. What if Magnus was in a musical? What if he participated in his New York community theater and, and we just get a dance routine when we go to see his show? <laughs> How can we smush dance into Shadow Hunters? I wonder if they're gonna give him cat eye contacts, right? I hope so. I was watching Nigahiga the other day and I was thinking he would be a great Magnus, but Harry Shum Jr. also though. I don't know if you've been following the cast of Shadow Hunters on Instagram. They're in Toronto now where they're gonna be filming. Very exciting. TV show is set to air in January of 2016. Now, in addition to these castings being dropped, we just got a slew of new book covers for the TMI series and the TID series. And a lot of you have been asking, like, Christine, what are your thoughts on the new covers? I'm gonna say to you, when I said to Kat upon first seeing the new City of Bones covers, no, that's not a City of Bones book. I want big bodies with chopped off faces, please. 
See, the thing about Mortal Instruments books, that you know when you see one. Whoa, look at that huge body and that face that's kind of chopped off or completely chopped off. If they have a look to them and at first it's like, wow, that looks stupid, but then they're all together and they grow on you and you love them. These are just, these are like the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Why must you mess with beauty? So soon after it's released. Harry Potter, they're messing with it like 10 years later. That's fine. I'm ready for fresh new covers. But we're not done with the Shadow Under series. There's like six more books, nine more books. She has nine more books in this world. What does this mean? If it doesn't match, I'm gonna be sad. This is the new cover for City of Bones. Oh, and it's not ugly, but it's not different. It doesn't stand out on the shelves like these babies do. Look at that. Look at that. Like, what is that naked chest? Why is this romance book misplaced in the teen section? It stands out. It catches your attention. You can't say you're not gonna look at this because you're wrong. It's bright and it's blonde and it's bare chested and it's attractive. Lots of books have small humans on them. There are so many covers with small humans where you can see their whole bodies. There are not so many covers with huge bodies that take up the whole cover and their faces are chopped off. Especially sparkly ones. Never like this. There are no books like this. There are no strings on me. Hey! Clary's on City of Ashes. Not a big fan of the yellow font. Do I hate these covers? No. Do I want a box set of them? Yes. Do I think they're a good cover change? No. Next we have Alec or Al or Stein. I think that's Alec. Unless it's Sebastian, but I think it's Alec. Just like a boy chilling in a sea of red. What am I gonna do with a boy chilling in a sea of red? I got so many boys in seas of red. And also, look at this. This is a Shadow Hunters novel. You know what I think this is gonna be? A flap. You know I hate flaps. You know what I'm talking about? When they cut the book cover, like not far enough, it has a flap and there's another page underneath and the book cover doesn't cover the whole cup. <gasps> Shh, it's one of my biggest book pet peeves. I hate it. My daughter's smoking bone is like that. And like, I don't know why book, book cover makers think it's cool to do that. It's not cool. Like the feel, I can't feel the cover without it like ending before the, the pages start. Why are you doing this to me? I'm not saying that it's guaranteed to be like that, but does it not look like that's the direction that we're headed with these covers? Look at this cover, then look at that. What is that big body that covers the whole cover? Then we've got City of Fallen Angels, which has Easy on the cover. Who is this? Is this Alec or is this Simon? Or is this Sebastian? Yeah, it makes the books look more middle grade. Then we've got, this looks like Alec. So this is Alec on City of Lost Souls at the end, you know, with all the, with all the firing and the Katniss action. And then we've got City of Heavenly Fire with Jonathan on the cover. Look at you. I don't, I just, I prefer the original cover. Big body and chopped off faces. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. I'm not gonna lie, like, the people, the people are beautiful. When do these come out in real life? Oh, I also heard that their spines line up to make the Institute. They're not a lot different in color scheme, but in impact on your face, they're different. My favorite new cover, I think, is the Clockwork Princess one. I'd love to hear what your favorite one is, your thoughts on our new cast members. I am Christine, thanks for watching. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at May. If you want to follow the Shadow Hunter Entertainment News, you should check out fantropolis.com. Natasha's awesome entertainment site. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.